The fog is coming. He's actually much faster than me. Oh. They are always grooming each other. It's about you just take that and have a little fun day with it. Not little fools that they dug. That was the one spot that I didn't cover. I think I have a couple leads on Queen. They all like to sing. I don't want to fight you. But I will. Okay, I just figured out how to cure Kevin's rage. I think Kevin is actually just genuinely mad at this red thing here. Look at this. He doesn't want to bite me at all. He just wants to attack the little thing. As you can see, he can easily just stop doing this at any time. But he prefers to bite this for some reason. I'm just gonna let him run around with it. We did it, guys. We cured Kevin's aggression. And hopefully by giving them space everywhere on the property, they'll have grazing that's pretty good around the entire property. Look at those two crows. We have crows here, guys. Two little crow friends. I think Kevin just really doesn't like this. Well, hello, Kanye, my adorable little baby boy. I think he's the same thing. He thinks that there's gonna be food in here, so he runs right over to it. You see, they're not very smart at all. They just like the red. Look at these cringe nay nay babies. 97 degrees today again, sadly. This little boy scream. Watch, now he's gonna run all the way over there. He's gonna get under that little tent. See, that's a little issue there. That was the one spot that I didn't cover. I give them their food, that makes them very happy. And then this little guy eats all the little things I spill. And yes, guys, we are gonna shear him eventually, but this isn't too much for him. It's really not that much wool. He doesn't necessarily need to be shaved. Now we have some nice, clean, open enclosures just in case we get any other rescues. So we now have some vacant space. I don't know what to do with this. Part of me wants to throw it away. Part of me wants to try and restore it away. These things aren't worth very much. But this is all my firewood. I left my little sawzall out here to cut this stuff up. Kevin's admiring our little birthday party venue here. This was our little redneck pool. We moved the trampoline out here because trampoline and concrete isn't a very good mixture. Speak of the dingus, there he is right there, scratching his little leg per usual. See, once the grass starts growing in, we're gonna have the capybaras out here. Look at this, you guys. Look how beautiful this is. We have a bus here with little with things inside, and all the grass is green again. Oh, look, a big rig in front of my home. All the rat tight babies are developing super well they're not fighting each other at all and they have a lot of natural green grass in here believe it or not now so they can have a good mixture of both natural grass and pelleted food i started giving them a mix of alfalfa all flock pellet a little bit of flock starter and of course they eat their own poop if you guys wondered this is what having a sheep is like they're pretty stubborn he can't really learn cognitively that i don't want him to do this these aren't like dogs you guys they're not intelligent at all after a while they eventually give up also he's a little buck so pretty soon he's gonna start headbutting me but this particular breed doesn't have horns good morning everybody welcome back to the urban rescue ranch as you can see everything is perfect today and today uncle ben's gonna be giving you guys a farm tour first one in a while take a look at this porch i made this with my own two hands i got that little guy on standby for whatever poggers gets his poop on here in this barn here we got all kinds of adorable little babies still doing great on water this is three days later but cringe is still cringe in the corn i now have this fan set up that keeps them cool all day look at these little babies as it turns out, they are in fact all friendly. They all like to sing. <laughs> so this one here does bite just a tiny bit. Big ounce is perfect. This one is perfect. They don't really bite me at all for the most part. Cringe over here would bite me if given the chance. Good thing though is Cringe likes to play with the other guys. It's all just food for them and they like to dig in here. In fact, they actually have a few burrows. One is right under there. This is a much more natural, happy life for a little prairie dog baby boy. Them getting to dig and have fun in here and be with each other is perfect. They get all the food they need and it's a beautiful beautiful setup for them somebody said uncle ben aren't you worried about big ounce reverting to being a wild mean boy if he spends so much time with them and the answer is no i'm not worried about that at all he's perfect look at him the fog is coming the fog is coming the fog is coming the fog i ate big ounce live look at this adorable little man he doesn't even care if i do this Oh, but I'm gonna go in here later and play with them at another time. But for now, I'm just gonna let these. Oh, goodbye. Doing great on water, and obviously, they're doing well on food. I am gonna start supplementing their diet with some pellets. For now, I don't really think they need that super bad. And these two are just love bugs. They are always grooming each other and kissing each other and cuddling each other. This is his wife for sure. Big Ounce finds a wife. You can see this is Big Ounce's wife. She is also very friendly and adorable. But these two are definitely a little couple, and I ship them. They had a slip and slide here the other night, so all this stuff has been watered real well. Poggers keeps escaping. A little cringe baby boy. Come on back in, son. I don't know how you're getting out, but you are, and it's annoying. But I love you, and you're welcome to stay here. If you leave this property again, gonna poop on you. I went ahead and ordered one of those GPS trackers for these guys. Those air tag thing. I think I have a couple leads on Queen, but part of me thinks that somebody just kept her. And they may not have known to check the microchip or something like that. But look at this, you guys. This whole place has been cleared of all the weeds and all the nasty stuff. Now the dogs can't jump out of the air, and the coyotes can't 
can't jump in real easy. Tank, our pool boy, left for the reserves and he didn't finish cleaning our pool. On the bright side, we have this pool now, which is perfect for the cappies to go for a big swim. The trampoline's out here and this makes excellent shade for DeBaber. The ducks just kind of free roam the whole property, per usual. And Kevin free roams now as well. Per usual, he's a little too angry to understand that there's a fence here to get to me. But that's okay, look how cute he is. He's an adorable little baby boy. You hanging out by the fire pit this morning, buddy? You having a little hammock sesh by the fire pit this morning, my little friend? My little handsome baby boy? I'm starting to think he doesn't even want to bite me. Look at this, guys. He didn't even jump. Such a beautiful man. Pretty soon when the capybars get bigger, we can have them out here to swim in there. Poo from the ducks has put way too much nitrogen in this pond, and that's why it's green. We can treat it pretty soon, and it's not dangerous to drink right now. But I found someone who can set up an irrigation system for the whole property so the drought never happens again, and we can actually have pumpkin patches. Most of my plants here died from the drought. Bees are doing well, but I need to add another box here for their hive. And I need to clear out some of the weeds in there pretty soon. Whoa, good morning, Kevin. I'm gonna scratch you behind your ear. Look at this beautiful baby boy, guys. Oh, can't catch me. Oh, he can catch me. He's actually much faster than me. Okay, I did not know that. I had no idea how fast these guys can run. I had no idea how fast Kevin was. Look at this. Oh my gosh, he can easily catch up to me. Easily. I need to go on Google and see how fast they can run. I don't wanna fight you. I love you. I don't wanna fight you, but I will. Get out of here. Good morning, my baby. Good morning. Yep, one bite at a time, Kevin. Okay. Okay, it's, it's okay. It doesn't have to be that aggressive. Bro, you're scaring the chicks. You're gonna make us lose subscribe. There's plenty on the ground now for you because of the mess you made. How about you calm down, Kevin? How's about you just take that? How's about you just take that and have a little fun day with it? Okay, perfect. That's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna take it back. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna get one more scoop for these guys. Okay. Sure, no, never mind. It's These guys are doing great on food and water. They have all kinds of grass over there too to graze on. So the vision's gonna be two rat tights in here, two of the ostrich chicks in that back one. Lord willing, they survive and do well to adulthood. This area here will mainly just be for the pigs and we're gonna start watering it soon, putting sod down so that they have grass again. Probably St. Augustine because the shade. And this might actually be for a tortoise. I might actually turn this into a little tortoise area and fence it off here. Oh, is that hit rapper and artist the baby? Hopping in from out of nowhere with his girlfriend. That's right, you guys. The baby girlfriend reveal. This is a little chicken named uh, New Nugget. I changed my mind. And these two are dating. That's the only red chicken that we have left that I haven't rehomed. And we're keeping her because she's the last remaining one of the 40 we got from that seas. Also, check this out. I saw that sticker on there. I can still monitor all of my animals from my bedroom, at least all the rat types. And now I can peek over at the cappy blappies. I'm filling up their pool right now. And look how precious they are. But also, look how they've destroyed the grass in only three days. Meanwhile, the rest of the Bermuda grass here is thriving and doing really well. I pick that and I feed it to them. Now, I'll still bring them in here to cuddle and watch a movie or read a book. But for the most part, you guys, I'm I'm just very thankful to have a living room back again and to not be emptying out seven buckets of poop per day. And pretty soon these guys will be able to run around on a larger property once they are a bit bigger. And as soon as I cover up this area and then fence in around here, we're gonna let them free range this whole area and eat all this grass. Also, I'm really glad I put this hose right here because it makes this way easier. But this is a pretty decent setup, all things considered. They have a pool that's fresh every day. They have another thing for drinking water and they'll sit in there all the time and poop in there. And they basically have infinite food. And putting hay in here is as simple as just picking the grass around this kennel area. But for socialization, I do need to bring them inside every day so they're still friends with me. And I'm gonna let them swim in that bigger pool tomorrow. But I also know that getting them to love me is as simple as bringing an apple out here. Ho 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 ho! Isn't that right, Quandale? The so-called free thinkers when an apple appears. But I really like being able to keep an eye on them from my bedroom and it's pretty nice now because the weather is good and I can easily go ahead and fence this off and then they just double their grazing area. Well, 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 well. Well, well, look who's just vibing in the pool. Look how they just be vibing in there. I saw them roll around earlier. It was the cutest little thing. The rat tights are thriving now. I have them on a much better diet and they eat all that natural grass back there. And Nathaniel B is officially bigger than Karen. Pretty soon these guys are just gonna skyrocket over all the other ones. Oh, a little poop there. And when that happens, these guys are gonna be a lot bigger, probably triple the size of Karen. But maybe not Homelander because of his curled toe. Oh, here comes Kevin. Look how happy this man is to be free ranging again. And the prairie dogs are all sleeping, except for Cringe, who's in the corner per usual. But look at this, you guys. They got little <laughs> holes that they dug. They made little holes with multiple little entry and exit ways. You see that? Under this pile of hay, they actually have multiple entrances right there, right there, and right there. And we basically just simulated an 
natural little den for them. And Big Al sits at the top <laughs> and protects them. The cringe is still just a little bit too cringe for my liking. That's it though, guys. Thanks so much for watching my video. Gotta go to church. Love you. Appreciate you. And I'll see you in the Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Oh, and they just love each other. See, this is better than them being in the living room, even though they don't have as much space. For now, they will have more space very, very soon.